Because we have the ability to grade every player on every play, our PFF data system allows us to create a more detailed picture of a player's performance than conventional statistics alone. Sometimes the box score doesn't always tell us everything we need to know. It doesn't tell us about the plays a quarterback fails to make or the ones he does only to see a teammate let him down. So yes, we do take into account the usual data points of a quarterback's completion percentage, touchdowns, and interceptions, but we also track things like what we call average depth of target. A quarterback's average depth of target, or A dot, is pretty much exactly what it sounds like. It calculates the distance of a targeted pass that goes beyond the line of scrimmage, but does not include the yards gained after the catch. It can also be used to describe a quarterback's conservative or aggressive nature when targeting his intended receiver downfield. A low average depth of target can reveal when a quarterback is playing in a system designed to be more conservative and relies on a short and quick passing game to move the ball down the field. A low A dot may range from five to six yards per pass attempt, but could also lend itself to yielding a high level completion percentage. A high average depth of target can illustrate a more aggressive offensive system that allows the quarterback to attack further downfield. A high A dot may range in the area of 10 to 12 yards per pass attempt, which could lower a quarterback's overall completion percentage. Some of the NFL's best quarterbacks have an average depth of target in the medium range of 7 to 9 yards per pass attempt. What makes them exceptional is they also have a high completion percentage even while driving the ball further down the field. Plays that are designed to achieve efficiency like screen passes, while easier to complete, will offset the gains made by deep throws, thereby lowering a quarterback's average depth of target. The same is also true when a quarterback is willing to check down with a short pass to his running back as he quickly emerges from the backfield. So no longer will very important data points find their way to the cutting room floor, or will a player be falsely credited with a negative play that isn't his fault. Every play is now accurately evaluated, entered into our database, and used to give you a more focused picture of a player's full performance. As they say in the locker room, the eye in the sky doesn't lie. Thanks for watching the PFF YouTube channel. And if you want to subscribe, all you have to do is push the button. Don't forget everything you get. A little fantasy, push the button. A little green line for the gambling aspects of the game, push the button. College football, push the button. The YouTube channel from PFF.